Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to cover different date time DAX functions and I'm going to show you the output of each function practically. So as you can see on my screen, I'm in the DAX query view. This evaluate is to evaluate the below functions and uh, this variable is to create a variable. So I have created a today variable taking today function. So this today function returns the current date in the date time format. So I have taken today's date that is 1st of May 2024 Wednesday. Now I am going to return. So let's use first function that is year. So in year I am going to pass today and if I run this it should give me the year from this date. So if I run this it will give error because year is a scalar function that is it provides an output as a scalar value that is single value and in DAX query view it returns only the table value. So how we can return the value is we can wrap this function with a curly braces. This curly brace is a table constructor. So it constructs scalar value as a table. It will uh, convert this single value to a table value that is one row and one column. So if I run this now, see it's giving me 2024. So it's giving me the year of the value. So it's extracting the year from today's date. Now I will add comma. So it will add a new row we can uh, see the output in the second row. So I will use quarter function. So this quarter function and uh, I will use today as a date. So this quarter function is going to give the quarter that we are in. So we are in the second quarter and that is correct. So May is uh, the second quarter. Next I'm going to show you month. So this month function I'm going to give today. Month will return the month value that is fifth month that is correct and uh, next we can take week value so let's take week number so this week number I will give today as a date and let's see what it returns so this is returning the week of the year so week number function will return the week number in the year currently it's 18th week of the year next we can take week day so this weekday returns a number from 1 to 7, identifying the day of the week. So weekday function will basically provide the day of the week. So if I run this, it's showing 4. So today is Wednesday. So it is taking Sunday as the first day. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So Wednesday is the fourth day. Here we can also uh, change the value. So we can add a return type. So it, uh, we can return 1, 2, 3. So 1. So 1 means the weekday starts from Sunday. If I give 2, so the weekday will start from Monday. And if I run this, see it's uh, changed to 3. So it's Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Again if I change it to 3, that means the weekday will start from Tuesday. So if I run this, it's giving me 2, Tuesday and Wednesday. So this was weekday function. The next will cover day. So this day function returns a number from 1 to 31. So representing the day of the month. So if I say today, so today is the first day of the May month. So that's why it, it's returning the first day. Now let's add hour, minutes and seconds. So I will add hour as today and run it. So it's giving me zero. And again, if I say minutes, it's again giving zero. And if I say second, so if I run this now, so you can see for hour, minute and second, it's giving zero as the output. So why it is giving zero as the output is we are passing today as the input parameter to this hour, minute and second functions. But today is a date function and not time function. Today returns a date. So if you see the intelligence, see it, it says it returns the current date in date time format. So it's just the date time format, but it's returning the current date, only date. Now, what if I change this today to now? So there is another function called now. So this now will return the current date and time in date time format. So this now returns the time as well. So now if I run this, you will see uh, it's uh, the hour, minutes and seconds are showing some values. So uh, currently it's 17th hour, 10 minutes and 59 seconds. If I run this again, it will change 17th hour 11 minutes and 11 seconds uh, so i hope you found this video useful i'm going to continue this tax series you can find all these videos in my power bi dax playlist so hit the subscribe button and wait for my next video 
till then goodbye thanks for watching the video